And so after connections, you have the part of the journey called new directions. And new directions is when your discovered goal happens. In, in a hero's journey, the hero goes off to right a wrong. And whether they right the wrong or not, um, that's the whole movie. Are they going to save the rebellion or not? And they might meet uh, Yoda along the way, but their goal stays the same, really. But in comedy, because your characters start off as, as missing a part or broken, uh, their initial goals are, are broken as well. They're short-sighted. They're not really the best, uh, the best for, their, for the character. And the discovered goal is what the characters discover along the way, what they really want. Bill Murray starts Groundhog Day thinking all he needs, all that would make his life perfect, would be to be a weatherman at a, big, at a bigger, better station. But along the way, he realizes what he really wants is having a real relationship, and specifically a real relationship with Rita. Um, in, in Tropic Thunder, uh, the initial goal for all the actors is simply to get back to the base camp and get out of the jungle where you might step on a landmine and blow yourself up. But along the way, they realize that their fellow actor, Ben Stiller, has been captured by these drug lords. And so you have them have a different goal. Their goal n now is simply not, well, do we just leave them here and go back? Or do we try to save him, even though we're just actors? We're not action heroes. We're, we're not really soldiers. And that's when another important part of a comedy comes out, uh, is decision points. You need real decision points in terms of your comic hero's journey. Um, you want to avoid a situation where there's no question of what your character is going to do. It's, it's uh, completely obvious the way it should go. Why even bother wasting my time? Um, one example of that uh, in an you know, otherwise well-received movie, but one I thought did not really give its character, its protagonist a great decision point is Midnight in Paris. Um, because in Midnight in Paris, uh, Owen Wilson had to choose between this whining harp, harpy of a girlfriend who he's engaged to uh, or one of the women that he's met in his time travels in, in Paris of earlier years. And to me, that's not a real decision point. Do you really think he's going to give up the romance of, of Paris and go back to California with this really annoying woman? A better decision point is in a, another romantic comedy, Sleepless in Seattle, in which uh, Meg Ryan uh, is engaged to Bill Pullman. And Bill Pullman is a great guy. But is he the guy? And that's a really great decision point because you could support her going either way. You could see it from her point of view going either way. You know, there's this maybe waiting for her at the top of the Empire State Building, but there's Bill Pullman right in front of you being such a nice guy. So you want real decision points. And in Spy, you see Melissa McCarthy having those real decision points. She, she has a new goal. Her goal is no longer to just have Jude Law be her boyfriend. Yes, it's, uh, this whole mission started out as a way of, of kind of avenging him. In fact, she, she often uh, hurts her, her adversaries by saying, that's for, you know, that's for Bradley. Uh, but eventually her goal changes. Her goal isn't just to avenge Bradley Fine. Her goal is to do what she was meant to do, which is, I can do this. I can be this spy. I have these skills. I don't have to hide behind somebody else. I can do this. And, and I can save the world. I can save the world from uh, having terrorists get this nuclear bomb. And so you see this moment in which she's been given the instructions, follow and report, do nothing else. And there's, there's a bad guy who's running away from her, 
that's obviously the best lead to get to uh, where the nuclear bomb is being hidden. And you see it in that moment. Do I just follow orders or do I follow my own emerging, transforming sense of self and do what I think is right? And so at that moment, we see her discover a new goal for herself. Her new goal is no matter what, she's going to see this through to the end.